you ever ask yourself what would it be like to shoot video on an extremely large sensor? Let's say you have a 50mm lens. Well, here is what you would see when you shoot a Micro Four Thirds camera like the GH5. And this is how it would look like on a Super 35 sensor, like the Alexa, RED, F65, you name it. Everybody is talking about large format nowadays and VistaVision is a thing again. So this is what VistaVision would look like, and even larger. The Alexa 65 has the largest sensor of all professional digital film cameras right now. But there is one camera with an even larger sensor. Enter the Hasselblad H6 D100C. This is a 100 megapixel full frame medium format stills camera. The resolution is absolutely incredible on this thing. Each raw image has a file size of 216.3 megabytes. But why is this interesting for filmmakers? Well, this thing can shoot 4K raw video. Boom. All we need is a CFast card and we're ready to go. Let's shoot. As you can see we get ultra shallow depth of field and the lens wasn't even wide open at this point. But you also can see some massive rolling shutter all over the place. So no more running handheld. We put the camera on a gimbal and a 24mm lens which is ultra wide on a sensor this big. So far so good. This thing can shoot video. But how does this large sensor compare to a Super 35 one in the real world? We shot this typical interview scene on the Red Dragon on a 50mm lens wide open at 1.4. Right next to it the H6 D on a 100mm lens at an f-stop of 4. When we put both shots side by side the first thing we notice is that the background is much more out of focus on the H6 D. Even though the lens was stopped down 3 full stops more than the lens on the Red. We also notice that the image looks more compressed, it's a subtle difference, no doubt. But medium format is known to produce a really beautiful look by expanding the field of view. Ok, enough about the why, let's talk about the how. You turn on the camera, wait for it to boot and then switch to video mode by pressing and holding a button on the top. You switch into live view mode and from there you start your recording. In the video settings you can choose different qualities for your recording. You can choose between raw recording and H.264 where you have the option to shoot in 1080 or 720. RAW is always 4K. We stick with RAW. There are no options to choose frame rates or bit rates. The camera is always shooting in 24 frames per second. But you can choose ISO and color temperature. The camera records raw video in a strange file container with a .3fv extension. So you need to convert these files in Hasselblad's own focus software. You simply navigate to your clips where you also get a quick preview of what you shot, but you can't change anything. No white balance, no ISO, nothing. Your only option is to export the clips to a Cinema DNG sequence. You can choose some naming presets though. This takes a while, and after finishing, your converted shots split into folders with a small MP4 proxy included. In the export process, you've been able to choose naming presets, but this just applies to the parent folder of all the single DNG frames. Too bad that all the single frames are named the same, making it extremely difficult to reconform and link the clips in a grading software like DaVinci Resolve. Nevertheless, we somehow managed to grade the footage and find something very disturbing. Hiding in the shadows we find some serious artifacts and strange noise. Seems like the sensor data gets heavily compressed when shooting video. Not good. Ok, so what's my verdict? Some people say medium format mimics how your eyes actually see the world. At least more than the small Super 35 size. Because you can shoot an extremely wide scene but it will have the real world look of a lens with a longer focal length. The large sensor is clearly the one and only reason anyone would want to shoot video on this camera. This and the absolutely incredible performance of the Hasselblad lenses. 
On the downside, well, this is not a video camera. It is just a photo camera which takes 24 images a second. This is not something you would ever want to shoot with unless you really are after the medium format look. Which is quite nice to be honest. My name is Christoph Tilly. Thank you for watching.